Hey, good morning and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are basically going to cover the basic definition of lean. We are going to look at how do we define value, how do we define lean and how does lean exactly go ahead and classify all the activities that we perform. Now for you or for us to define lean, first let's understand the concept of the word value. How is it that we define value? To define this, let's consider a simple example, that of getting a haircut. Now say person X wants to get his haircut. He has two options. First option, he goes into a proper no frill saloon, where he goes in, his hair is cut, he pays say 50 rupees, he comes out and that's the end of it. Whereas the other option is a saloon, where the person goes in, it's totally air conditioned, he is made to relax, his, his hair is washed before being cut, so it's washed, shampooed, then it's cut, he's given a relaxing hair massage and after that he has to walk out. But instead of 50 rupees, he has to pay 200 rupees. Now the basic purpose you want to achieve, that is to get your hair cut, is same in both the cases. So you would have someone who just wants the hair cut and nothing else and feels that it's appropriate for him to pay 50 rupees for that and so he goes to the first cell. At the same time you would have someone else who would also prefer to have you know a nice cool air conditioned environment, someone massaging his head, giving it a wash etc etc and for him if that means paying 400 rupees that's absolutely okay. So it's the same task, two different ways to get it done and two different amounts of money to be paid. The value for the person who goes to the first one is only in getting the haircut and so he is ready to pay for it. Whereas the value for the other person is not only the haircut but also the surrounding things that happen along with it and he is ready to pay for that. So the way you define value is the particular thing or action or act for which you are ready to pay. So any anything activity or aspect for which the customer or you as a person are ready to pay money is what is described as a thing of value for you. Now with this definition of value in place, let's look at the definition of lean. Now there are many definitions you would find on the internet. The ones that I like the most go something like this. It basically is everyone solving problems systematically in order to maximize value and minimize waste across the entire system. Now when you look at this definition, let me briefly explain. Yeah, The definition itself is pretty lean because every word that is there has meaning. Let's look at it again. We say, we start with everyone. So when we say everyone, it's right from the lowermost employee in the organization to the head of the organization. Solving problems. So the different problems that we face in our lives, in our day-to-day -day lives systematically. It has to be done in a systematic manner so that whatever do you do here in India can be replicated across maybe in different organizations or different areas of your life. To maximize value, so of course the value that the customer expects from us or the value that we expect should be maximum. Minimize waste, the waste that we are, uh, you know, that is there in the system should be minimized and finally, doing it across the system. So if you are working for a big organization, ensuring that it happens across the organization is very important. If it's in your personal life, to ensure that it applies to the all areas of your life is also equally important. Now coming to the third part, how does Lean classify the different work or the different tasks or jobs that you do? Lean classifies them into three tasks. First task is what we call as a value added activity. Second is the non value added activity or the waste. And third is the necessary non value add or activities that you have to perform in order to do a value added activity. Now let's look at these three activities in more detail. First, the value added activities. The value added activities are the actual activities that you do in order to deliver value to the customer. 
So these are the activities for which the customer will be ready to pay you. So whenever you are faced with a question that this particular activity that I am performing, how do I classify it? Go ahead and ask yourself these questions. For the value added activity, is the customer ready to pay you? If for that specific activity you feel you as a customer would be ready to pay, you can classify that activity as a value added activity. Likewise, for non-value added activity, if you as a customer are not ready to pay for that activity, that is simply going to be a non-value added activity. Now, the necessary non-value added activity is a bit tricky because it's neither this nor that. So, there are a couple of things that you have to look at when you are, you know, evaluating the different activities. The first thing is, is this an activity that is required to be done due to the law of the land to meet the regulations to ensure that you are legally compliant with the place or the country that you are operating in. This typically applies for organizations. Of course, if you are an individual, the legal aspect will still apply because if you are doing an activity which is illegal, it's of course uh, uh, something that you should not be doing, right? Uh, the other aspect that you have to look at at a necessary non-value add is that, is this activity helping you to achieve or to perform a value added activity. Let's say for example, uh, if you go to the haircut saloon example, yeah, the cleaning of scissors. Until and unless you do not clean the scissors properly, you will not be able to give a good sanitary haircut to the next person who comes in. So although the person who's walking in is not going to pay you for cleaning the scissors, it's expected that for you to be able to deliver that service properly will have to clean the scissors. So pretty simple, in a nutshell, activities for which the customer will be ready to pay you are the value added activities, activities for which he will not be ready to pay you are the non-value added activities and activities for which the customer will not be ready to pay you but you still have to do them for two reasons. One to be legally compliant in, in the particular country or place and second because these activities enable you to go ahead and perform the value added activities. Now that you have identified in which particular category does your activity fall, what do you do with it? It's pretty simple. You try to maximize the value added uh, activities that you have identified. You try to eliminate or minimize the non-value added activities and as far as the necessary non-value added activities are concerned you try to minimize them so that you spend the least amount of time in that. I am pretty sure you must be liking my channel so far so please go ahead and press the subscribe button we will be coming up with a lot more videos on Lean and Six Sigma. That's all I have for you today. See you tomorrow.